Real quick one today, all about appetite hormones. This is for somebody working towards their level four obesity and diabetes. And there are about eight different appetite hormones, but we're gonna talk about two of those today. One's leptin, one's ghrelin. They are definitely different. Leptin is more of a long-term. That's why I've underlined the word, uh, the letter L. So leptin is long-term. And this relates to your fat mass. So the more fat mass that you have on your body, the more leptin you will have. Therefore, that reduces hunger. So leptin's job will be to reduce your hunger and your cravings for food when you have a higher fat mass. However, some people can get leptin resistant even regardless of having large amounts of fat on their body. Next one is ghrelin. Now, ghrelin is like the little gremlin that happens on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is the one that will increase hunger if we've not had certain amounts of foods or our body feels like it's being a little bit hard done by in the day. So the way to reduce ghrelin, which is that little gremlin-y feeling of hunger, is to make sure you're having more fats, proteins and fibres as well in your foods. So that's a little quick bit about appetite hormones. Leptin is long-term, ghrelin is the gremlin and hopefully you remember the difference between them. Have a great day. Take care.